Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I'm coming at you from on board Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Seas. And I'm going to give you a full tour from front to back, from top to bottom of this beautiful ship. So come on, let's get this adventure started. So we start our tour here on deck four. This is the centrum or the main lobby and this is the main dance floor right here. They have music right here all night long. And you can look up here in the middle and you can see the banks of elevators that are going up. You can also see from deck four all the way up to deck eight or nine and even higher up there on that side. And you can also see outside through the glass dome. So this ship does have a traditional atrium like a lot of the older cruise ships would have had. There's also the R bar right here beside the dance floor right here in the centrum area. And then there are seating areas which flank both sides of the centrum here on deck four. Now behind the R bar, you notice there's a walkway up this way. And this actually leads to staterooms. So all the way forward, we're about mid to aft ship, all the way forward on deck four are all staterooms. And we're starting our tour on deck four because decks two and three are also all staterooms and deck one is the gangway. So this is the first deck, deck four, with public guest areas. Proceeding toward the aft, we have the elevator bank on deck four. And then here in the aft on deck four is my fair lady, which is the main dining room, one of the main dining rooms here on board. Actually, My Fair Lady is the name of the dining room. Deck four is the lower level, and this is where you will be seated if you have a sign dining. So if you're coming to dining at 5 or 6 or whatever that time is, or 8.30, this is your dining room. My Fair Lady on deck four, and that's here in the aft. So I just walked over to the other side. We were just now on the other side of the stairs, and now we are on this side which is the other entrance to My Fair Lady. And it just depends on which time of the day you're coming, uh, dinner or lunch or whatever, which side you actually be entering. Just outside the dining room, there are restrooms, one on either side. So the men's is on this side, and on the other side is the women's. And that's pretty much it for deck four. This is just the landing between deck four and deck five. There's such beautiful art between the floors when you come up the stairs and the stairwells. They have a lot of very nice art and if you look, they actually have plaques nearby or placards nearby showing who designed the art, who made the art. I think that's a very nice touch. So now on deck five, and here is the upper portion of My Fair Lady. This is where you will dine or come to dine if you have my time dining or choice dining where you can come at any time in the evening. And here on the other side of the staircase, of course, is the other entrance to My Fair Lady. And the cool thing about deck five, it's sort of the promenade deck because there is this wraparound deck that you can go outside and you can walk all the way around the ship, uh, except the front. They do have the front section closed off, but you can walk all the way around the back, all the way to the other side. It's a good place to come out here and just see where you're at in port. Today we're in Royal Navy Dockyard here in Bermuda. And they also have chairs, there's none right here, but they do have chairs in some areas. So uh, not a lot of balconies on this ship. So if you're someone who likes to sit out and have a view at the ocean as you sail, come out here on deck five, grab a chair. Uh, it's a great place to sit. This is where I've spent a majority of my time this week. I love this deck and how it wraps all the way around deck five. passing the elevator bank and now we are back to the centrum this time on deck five and I like how they have this seating area over here with the big windows that look out over the ocean it's very nice there's also a lot of stairs a lot of options to take to get up to deck six or down to deck four and then of course this would be a good place to come and watch the entertainment at night down on the dance floor to see the music as it's played live Right here by the centrum on deck five is a short excursions desk right here to our left. And then right in front of us now is the guest services desk. You 
continuing to walk forward here on deck five. The next section of the ship we come to is Bolero. Boleros is one of the lounges here on board and it's currently closed because it's the morning or middle of the day. But in the evening they are open. They do have music from time to time. You see the stage and the dance floor there. And then of course there's a bar back there as well. So a good place to come and hang out uh, in the evening. Maybe you want to escape the centrum and come back and um, have a relaxed environment to enjoy a drink. This is where you can do that. And then as we head toward the aft from Boleros, we run into Casino Royale, which is the casino here on board Enchantment of the Seas. So here all the way forward on deck five is the Orpheum Theater. The Orpheum Theater is the main theater here on board Enchantment of the Seas. And I really like this theater. I've been in here now about every night of the cruise. And it's a, you know, it's an old ship. So of course the theater has an old feel to it, but it's a classic feel and it is very classy. go up the stairs here from deck five again all the way in the forward we're gonna go up to deck six and there is seating here additional seating upper level seating for the theater so deck five down here deck six up here uh, this is the Orpheum theater all the way forward on decks five and six here on Enchantment of the Seas. So heading from forward toward the aft here on deck six, you run into the Royal Shops. And this is where you're gonna find all of the shops here on board. You can sort of think of this area as the shopping center because they are here, just located all together in one spot. Of course, it's very quiet right now and nothing's going on because everything's closed but in the evenings they also have sales out here they'll have a lot of merchandise laid out here jewelry and t-shirts and then as you pass the shops you'll get into the photo gallery where you can come and purchase the photos that have been taken of you throughout the course of the cruise. And of course it's boarded up and closed right now as well because we are in port. Continuing to head toward the aft of the ship. Now we're getting back toward the center room again. And here on the left, you have the Voom little kiosk area if you're having any issues with your internet or you want to purchase an internet package or just have general questions about Voom. Probably the fastest internet I've had in my 20 cruises I've had on this ship. It's been very fast. So if you are interested in an internet package, I will say here, absolutely buy it. It is worth the money. It's so fast. Uh, but this is where you come to get connected with internet or any questions you have about the internet. And then right beside that, this is a little... Uh, area of computers where you could come uh, if you maybe didn't bring your device and you need to use a computer this is certainly where you could come and do that and then right beside it is the library or the book section uh, not a very big library not a designated space like a lot of ships have but you certainly can come get a book out of this shelf and sit and read it um, and you see that there's an area for return so they can sanitize the books they do ask that if you take a book that you do return it by the end of the cruise just behind the library here, or beside the library here, is the Latitudes, which is the little coffee uh, place here where you can get coffee on board, some Starbucks coffee that they have. And there's also a Ben and Jerry's here where you can get ice cream. And they have little takeaway snacks here as well that are free of charge that you can take with you with your coffee. So back to the centrum area of deck six and right across the way here is the next cruise desk so if you do want to come and book your next cruise while you're on board here 
a lot of times they will offer certain uh, savings and onboard credit opportunities. And then right beside the next cruise desk is the art gallery on board where you can come and purchase art to take home with you. And then of course, we're still here in the central part so you have really good views. Now, decks seven and eight above us are all residential decks or they're all staterooms. We're not gonna go to those, but notice they all have this little walkway area that look down into the centrum and you can see they have art up there too. So if you're a person that likes art, you wanna take a look at the art, maybe you are interested in purchasing some art, the art is not only here on deck six in the centrum, it's also located on deck seven and eight near the centrum uh, on those stateroom decks. All right, so let's continue aft here on deck six. And as we pass the art gallery in the centrum, we will come to Chop's Grill. And Chop's Grill is the steakhouse here on board. It is the only specialty dining restaurant here on board Enchantment of the Seas. They don't have an Izumi, they don't have uh, the Italian restaurant or any of the other specialty dining restaurants that a lot of the newer and bigger royal ships have. But they do have Chop's Grill and they have lunch uh, opportunities in here. They have dinner. Um, so just make sure you check the cruise planner and you can book your Chop's Grill uh, selections before you even come on the cruise ship. So here's the stairwell for deck six between decks five and six and you see more beautiful art in the stairwell. and we will walk around to the other side of deck six and enter the Schooner Bar. The Schooner Bar is a uh, famous bar across the Royal Fleet, and they have a pretty big one here on board Enchantment of the Seas. So just aft of the Schooner Bar, which is back here. We have the Conference Center on board. On deck six aft, just behind the Schooner Bar, is the Spotlight Lounge. And the Spotlight Lounge is probably the largest lounge here on board the Enchantment of the Seas. When you first walk in over here to the left, you have a bar area. Notice how much seating there is though back here in the Spotlight Lounge. There's also a stage, a very large stage, with a large dance area in the middle. And I really like this area of the ship. I've been back here several times. It's a nice place to bring a coffee in the evenings. I haven't noticed too many activities going on back here. But it has a really good vibe in here. It has that classic old cruising vibe. It has old couches. Uh, but it has a really good feeling. I don't know, it's a really good vibe. It sort of feels like you're uh, in the summer of 2000 and you're spending the day at your grandmother's house watching MTV all day. So that's sort of the vibe here, but I'm into it. And the cool thing about the Spotlight Lounge is its location here on deck six aft because it overlooks the very back of the ship. So you have a really great view, especially when you're sailing along. You have one of these tables right here at the very back. But again, this is the Spotlight Lounge here on the aft of deck six. So as I mentioned, deck seven and eight are all staterooms. So we're now here on deck nine at the elevator bank and stairwell in the aft of the ship. And we're gonna head aft and then we'll head forward on deck nine. But just behind the stairwell here on deck nine is the solarium on board. The 
solarium here on board Enchantment of the Seas is covered. This is a retractable roof, but most of the time they keep it covered. So even if it's cold or raining outside or whatever the weather might be, uh, you can be protected from all that in here. And here in the solarium, there is one pool and two hot tubs. And this is an adult only area, or they say 16 years old and up. And then behind me here, right uh, beside the pool here in the solarium is the solarium bar. Here all the way aft on deck nine is the Enchantment Day Spa and we're not going to go in there and film because folks are in there enjoying their spa day but just know that the spa makes up the back of deck nine and on the other side of deck nine in the solarium it's one of the many eateries on board Park Cafe and Park Cafe has usually lighter options they usually have a salad bar set up here there is a drink station where you can get a refill of your drinks they have coffee and then over here, they usually have little takeaway sandwiches set up. They'll have pastries, uh, some salads, they'll have pizza, they'll have uh, hot dogs and other types of sandwiches. So a good little place to grab a snack here on the solarium or on the main pool deck because we are in the aft of deck nine. So now leaving the solarium area, I'm headed toward the front of the ship here on deck nine. And we're gonna leave the covered area now and go into the open deck. So here is the elevator bank for Deck 9 and the stairwell just inside those doors. And as we walk forward now, we're on the main pool deck. So Deck 9 is where you're going to find the main pools and hot tubs here on board the ship. There's also an area for live music. And it's a very nice deck. Don't let this being a small ship fool you. There is a substantial pool deck here on board the ship. There's a lot of areas to sit, a lot of loungers on sea days and port days alike. And then here about the middle of the pool deck, is Oasis, and Oasis is a bar. It sort of hangs out over the edge of the ship, uh, which is pretty neat. And this is typically open on sea days and when days when a lot of folks are on board. Right now, a lot of folks are off exploring Bermuda, so it's not open. Uh, but Oasis is probably the place for you if you like to have a poolside drink. Speaking of pool, here is the pool and the hot tub. And then there are more pools and hot tubs here on the front as well. But as I said, many places to sit here, even on the sides, they have the windows that open over here. Be a nice place to sit, especially when you're sailing to get some fresh breeze. They also have a big movie screen up here looking out over the deck. It hasn't been on any uh, throughout this cruise, so I'm not sure if they ever have movies or anything. I haven't seen anything like that happening yet, but perhaps it could as the cruise progresses. They also have a little splash area here for the smaller ones and a smaller little pool right here in the front. And then all the way forward here on the pool deck is the main pool bar. A pretty big bar for you to come and sit and get those beverages. And then all the way forward here on deck nine is the wind jammer. The wind jammer is the main buffet area here on board the ship. Now typically the wind jammers are gonna be in the aft section of most of the ships that you sell however it is on the front of the ship here on enchantment of the seas I will stop to mention here if you are a soda drinker that they do have two of these Coke freestyle machines located on board. One is here right inside the Windjammer and they also have one down on deck six near the Centrum area, right near the Ben and Jerry's and the cafe.
I think one of the coolest things about this buffet area is they have seating that looks out over the very front of the ship. You can see the front of the ship there about center screen. So you can sit right up next to those windows as we're sailing along and it's a great place to have dinner right here in the very front of the ship. And then here's the main buffet area itself. They're setting up for lunch, so I'm not gonna go around and, and show you, but just to get an idea of how it's set up, uh, you can see that right here. And leaving the windjammer, we are gonna turn here to the right. We'll be back at the deck nine forward, elevator bank and stairwell. So that concludes our exploration of Deck 9. Now we're headed up to Deck 10. So here on Deck 10, the very forward section of the ship, this is where you're gonna have your children's area. So if you're bringing your kids for Adventure Ocean or also to, uh, this is the arcade. This is also where they have the nursery for the babies and tots. This is where you bring those. Again, this is all the way forward on Deck 10. And then just outside these doors here, we're gonna walk back out sort of the main deck area we're now one deck up above the pool deck so this is a good place to come and sit if you want to be outside but not down in the main action of the pool deck you can come up here they have a lot of loungers set out they also have this blue walking track and they have a pretty substantial walking track here on board the ship i was actually surprised to see how large it extends it extends all the way to the back and around and then all the way up to the front and around. So if you're someone who likes a morning walk, then you can take advantage of that. Personally, I would recommend you take that walk on deck five on the outdoor promenade section. That's my favorite area to walk, much closer to the water. And it's much less windy down there as well. So now approaching the very front of the ship here on deck 10. And we're gonna walk up not really a whole deck, just up a few stairs here on deck 10. And this is pretty much the highest area where you can lounge or hang out here on board Enchantment of the Seas. And if you look down, you see uh, there's the buffet area. Right down there is the Windjammer. Uh, so if you ever want to come and get a sneak peek of lunch and maybe see what they're offering on the buffet before you head down, it's your place to do it. So as we approach the mid section of deck 10, I will tell you something cool and interesting about the Enchantment of the Seas. While this ship is the third oldest in the Royal Fleet, and it debuted all the way back in 1997, the ship was refurbished back in the 2000s, and the ship was actually extended. They cut the ship in half and split the sections apart, the two halves apart, and added in a completely new block or section of the ship. And it's actually this section right here where you see this bridge here on deck 10, right over the main pool deck this is the portion of the ship that they added so here all the way to the bottom of the ship is a completely new block of ship that they added back in the 2000s and because of that this is the most unique ship in the vision class of Royal Caribbean ships because it's the only one that's been extended like this so uh, know if you're selling this ship that it's the most interesting of that original uh, class or oldest class rather of Royal Caribbean ships because it does have this extension here and I love it every time I go over this bridge It's so pretty especially at night And you can see here uh, a lot of seating, but if you look down there, you can see actually the solarium and they do have these windows open. They've had them open for most of the cruise. I think just to let the solarium vent out a little bit since it can get quite warm in there. Uh, but this might give you a better look down into the solarium. You can see the pool and the hot tubs there. Also a pro tip, we are at a port day right now. Notice how empty the ship is and especially the pools in the pool area. There is no one in any of the pools here in the solarium. So if you want to have a pool day, a day to yourself in the pools without worrying about other people being in them, then you might want to consider checking them out or hitting them on a port day if you can sacrifice that time.
So the walking track turns there and extends back toward the front of the ship. And we're almost to the back. I wanted to show you one more thing here on the aft of deck 10. So now we've made it to the aft of deck 10. You can see the back of the ship back there. And this is the rock climbing wall. You can't see it from this angle when they're doing work here, but this is where you can come and do the rock climbing activity when it is open. It's not always open. But if you're into that thing, you can get the thrill of climbing up a rock wall on the very back of a cruise ship. Now back here to the aft elevator bank here on deck 10. And we're gonna head up the stairs to the last open area on the ship, the very top of the ship, on deck 11. So we've now made it to deck 11. The very top of the ship here is the Viking Crown Lounge. The Viking Crown Lounge is open to everyone. And it is a nice little bar here overlooking the rest of the ship. You can see the bar area here. And then lots of seating. And this never gets crowded. I've been up here several times already throughout the cruise. And there's hardly been anyone up here. And you can see if you come up here and sit, you have a really good view overlooking decks 10 and 9 below the pool deck area. You can also sit on the sides and have a really good view out over the ocean. So make sure you don't miss this. Again, it's deck 11. You got to come up the aft stairwell all the way to the top. There's also elevators that'll come all the way up here to deck 11. This is also the location of the Diamond Club and the Concierge Club. The Diamond Club is open only to those guests who are uh, diamond and above with royal and their loyalty status. And the Concierge Club is for those guests staying in concierge suites. So we will not go in those areas, but know that there is a seating area up there for diamond only members. And then a seating area back here for concierge guests. That's gonna do it for our tour of the Enchantment of the Seas. What a beautiful ship, what a great ship she is. So I encourage you to come on and check this ship out, get on one of her sailings, you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.